Hi, I'm RJ and welcome back to my Mythos. We're doing another unboxing today, but it is not a glossy box because that was last week. This time it is a Beauty Bay mystery box. Now, I'm a little bit of a brand loyalist when it comes to Beauty Bay. Most of the stuff I wear on my eyes comes from their eyeshadow palettes. I think their formula is amazing, their pigmentation's great, their longevity. Um, so yeah, I really do love their palettes, but I've not tried much of their other makeup. So when they put this on their website for £35, I thought, yeah, cool, I'll give that a go. Mainly because it says there are three eyeshadow palettes in here. Now, what I'm expecting is some of the little six pan Disney palettes, because I know previous mystery box reviews that I've seen, they've been in all of them. Um, and I do own two of them, so the likelihood for a repeat is quite high. Um, but it does say there's a £42 palette in here, which again, the likelihood for repetition is quite high. I know which one I want it to be. I would like it to be the Brights palette with the mix of mattes and shimmers, because I only have the matte version. So that would be nice. Um, but whatever I get, I'm going to be fine with it. If it's a duplicate, it goes and lives at my boyfriend's house. Ha! <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into it. So, before I actually unbox the box, I'll just read a little bit from the website about the box. It's currently sitting at four and a bit review uh, stars from 621 reviews, so that's pretty good. Description. A box of 11 makeup, hair care and skin care products and tools, including three palettes. One has 42 shades. Yay! Um, I've never tried their hair care and I don't believe I've tried their skin care either, so that should be quite interesting. Tools, I'm hoping for some brushes. It's probably going to be a, one of them gusha, gusha, face roller or stone things, because, yeah, they were a thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, this... Mystery must haves box by Beauty from by Beauty Bay words. This mystery must have box from by Beauty Bay is every beauty obsessive dream. Try saying that twelve times fast. Featuring some of the most loved by Beauty Bay products across palettes, skincare, hair care, accessories, and makeup. We've got to say it's our best one yet. And yes, that's all we're giving away. FYI, each mystery box contains the same 11 items. Okay, so everyone who gets this will get the same items, so this is a spoiler review. Um, the worth is £100, so that's a 68% saving. This box cost £35. Um, I got free postage because I have their whole pass, which gives me free postage for the year, so I don't know if postage would be charged on top of that if you bought it. Uh, it's only at Beauty Bay, it's cruelty free, and it's vegan friendly. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it and see what we've got, and at the end I will do my face with some of the stuff. I've obviously already put my eyebrows on because they ain't given us any purple eyebrow products, and I've put my base on because I doubt there's a foundation in here. But everything else we will do either from the box or from my collection if I need to be. Give me a second just to open this thing up. Good stuff inside. Oh! Oh, that's always fun to do, isn't it? So, just so you know, I'm not being in here. So looking in here, I can already see there's a Disney palette. Right, let's see. Let's go through it. I'm just going to pick things out of the box. So there should be 11 things in here. I'm just going to dig in and we'll see what we've got. So, first thing is a little brush. Let's see what this is. It just says brush on the back. Um... Is it a lip brush? Ah, yeah, okay. So it says, get lippy, right there on the handle. So I'm going to guess this is a lip brush, which is good because I don't actually own a lip brush. Um, if you've seen on my channel, I've got one of the um, clicky things, the GoPlay lips kits, cosmetic things, where you mix your own liquid lipsticks. I love a liquid lipstick, uh, but they have little pots that have a brush in the top, but they can get a bit manky, so yeah, nice little lip brush here, so yeah, I don't know if it'll focus on that, it says get lippy, uh, let's see, 
no, I can't get it to focus, but it does just say, get lippy in like a bronzish, rose goldish little bit of text. And then it's just a nice flat little lip brush on the top. Um, synthetic, obviously, but feels quite nice. That's might be a little bit stiff on the lips, but I will find a liquid lipstick that I can put on with this so we can try it out. Wonderful. Product one, lip brush. There isn't a card in here that tells me prices, so I will um, go through the Beauty Bay website and I'll try to put prices underneath as we go. And then we can total it up at the end as well and see what the actual, actual box worth is. Because it says £100, but, you know, mystery boxes. Okay, second thing in here I ain't gonna use. This is a Beauty Bay bronzer tanning mitt. Um, I don't tan, I'm really pale, so that. Pointless. I should probably go get that back for the roundup at the end. <laughs> Third thing in here, we've got our first hair care product and this is the Ultra Hydrate Hair Mask. Uh, it's got hyaluronic acid and meadow foam. I don't know what meadow foam is. It sounds a bit grim, doesn't it? Meadow foam. Um, I'm sure it's not. Um, so this claims to be used for during washing or overnight. So let's, let's have a look what it says. How to use me. After shampooing, apply a generous amount, towel dried hair and comb through. Leave on for five minutes or for a deeper condition, leave overnight and rinse thoroughly. Use one to two times weekly. Helps smooth and hydrate dry, damaged hair, helps reduce damage and protect against breakage, and helps reduce frizz and minimise split ends. Now my hair tends to be a bit of a mixture, it's quite greasy on top, but then I do have split ends, because obviously I dye the hell out of it. Um, so this might be quite nice on just the ends of my hair. I'm going to be real with you, ain't nobody got time to wash hair, dry hair, towel dry it, and then put conditioner on, and then wash it back off, and then re-dry your hair. I'll just be using this in the bathtub as a general conditioner. Let's have a look at it. Ooh, okay, so it's nice and thick. Doesn't really smell of anything, so that's fine. Yeah, cool. Hair conditioner. I have no idea what should have been in this bubble wrap. Number four, we have the first of the Disney palettes! So this is the Disney Bambi palette, which luckily is not one of the two I have. I have the Cheshire Cat and I have, I think it's blue. It's definitely one of the Jungle Book ones anyway, but I don't have the Bambi palette. However, I have looked at this one before and considered buying it. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not unimpressed by the fact that we've got this. Uh, let's shuttle this one out. Let's have a look. So this is what it looks like. It's got cute little Bambi and Thumper on. Um, so these ones are, they're pretty cool. So Beauty Bay did a range of, it was either six or eight of these that are based on the colour palettes of the original Disney animations. So they've taken the cell um, that is on the front and picked colours from it. So this one has six different shades in it. So there you go. Nice neutral colours, pop of purple, pop of blue. I didn't buy this one because it is quite neutral and I'm <laughs> neutral, she says. Three of these colours are definitely not neutrals. <laughs> um, but they're not they're not really colours that I generally tend to use in my eyeshadows, but they are very pretty. Um I love Beauty Bay's formula, so I know these are gonna be nice. Um Shall I swatch them? Yeah, go on, I'll swatch them. So, top three, we've got a blue, turquoisey blue, we've got a paler blue, and we've got a creamy colour. They're such creamy, even the mattes are really creamy feeling. Let's see. Oh, that blue needs building up. We'll just build that up a little bit so you can actually see it. So that's the top row. Cute, they're nice. And then we've got a sort of a gingerbread brown, a pinky beigey colour, and this lovely purpley colour. Uh, we'll do them here. 
Ooh, that, that's gorgeous. That's a really nice payoff on that brown. Um, purple and beigey pinky colour. So they are nice. Like, that's just a quick finger swatch. And we all know finger swatches aren't exactly the best representation of what palette actually acts like. But they feel very like the other Beauty Bay shadow formulas that I'm certainly used to. So I will probably... Actually, I'll definitely get some use out of these three. And these are quite nice transition colours. It's just this one I might not really get any use out of. Although it is more of a burnt orange than a brown, so you never know. Okay. Bambi eyeshadow palette. Okay, number five is the first thing that I've just seen. I think I already own this. So this is the Berries nine colour palette. I already own the 16 colour version of this. Um, so the Berries palette is their pink palette, which, hey, very timely with the Barbie movie coming out. Um, this is the Berries palette and it's a load of pink shades. Now these are beautiful. I use my version of this palette all the time. I've got the 16 pan one, so slightly more colours. But this is a really good shade range from there. You've got five different mattes and four different shimmer shades. Um, so like I say, because I own this one at my house, I will leave this at my boyfriend's house for the times that I stay over at his and I inevitably wake up the next morning and he goes, oh, let's go and see some friends. And I'm like, great, now I have to put a face on. Here you go. Lots of nice little pink shades. I particularly love this one um, and this one. I know these two are both beautiful on the lid. This is a gorgeous inner corner highlight because it's got that white kind of reflux to it. It is more pink. It's a bit more of a um, a pale purpley pink um, when you see it actually in person. Uh, it washes out a little bit on the camera. Uh, but like I say, yeah, really nice inner corner highlight. Uh, that's how I tend to use it. And then these are just nice. These are a good range of shades actually for doing just your transitions and your more um, creases. And then the shades on the lid. Um, shall I swatch these? I'm gonna swatch these and not swatch them live, I'll just do them onto my arm and then come back, so give me a sec. Yeah, this is such a, uh, a Barbie movie palette, isn't it? I mean, look at that bright pink in the centre there and that one. Um, so these are, oh, actually in the palette order. That's why I'm holding my hand so weirdly. Um, but yeah, this one up here, I'm particularly, uh, a fan of. Um, so yeah, there you go, the Nine Pan Berries palette. I've got so much makeup all over my hands, I'm just gonna go wash my hands. I ain't swatching the 42 Pan palette when we get to that, that's not gonna happen. Right, I'm back, slightly less colourful now. Um, so let's carry on, what number are we on? We've got one, two, three, four, five, five down. That means there are six more to go. Let's carry on. Product number six, Pastels Crayon Eyeliner. Um, so I'm guessing this is an eyeshadow stick. It says a creamy pastel eyeliner to acknowledge your softer side and keep your looks sweet. Perfect for hours of lightweight smudge and crease proof wear. God, that was hard to read. White text on pale colors. Who will chose that as a design element? Right, let's see what color this is. I'm hoping for Actually, you know what? I'd be pretty happy with anything except probably a yellow because yellow's just crap. So let's see what we're betting on. I'm betting it's probably pink or orange. It's white! <laughs> okay. Is this white? How do we know? Just says crayon eyeliner. Ooh, he's got a sharpener on the back. Um, <laughs> I'm always really impressed when um, eyeshadow pencils have a sharpener actually built in. Right, let's see what colour it actually is. Oh, look. Look at that, it's yellow, just like... Just like I said I didn't want. Okay. I mean, that's quite cute. It's a gold-toned yellow. Um, can you see that? Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm not mad at it. It might be quite nice in the inner corner, possibly in the waterline. Mm. Okay, I'm a little bit neutral about this, but pastel eyeshadow, um, pastel eyeliner even.
Yay. You know what I am happy about? This has been quite makeup and makeup tool heavy so far. Quite impressed. Uh, right, so product seven is, what's this? This is for the beauty obsessed. Uh, this is a, oh, this is another crayon eyeliner. Um, but this one isn't pastel. This says your makeup essentials but better. Line and define your looks with our not so basic creamy eyeliner. For hours of light work, smudge proof wear. Right, it's basically the same thing except the pastel but white on black, so much easier to read. Right, let's see, what are we betting? There's no colour written on here, so I'm gonna bet this is a basic black eyeliner, but let's see, it's another, it's another white tube. That's really unhelpful. Um, I'm sure somewhere on here it will say a colour, um, but you know, let's be surprised, let's be surprised together. Uh, so again, yeah, I think it's probably just gonna be black, but it is talk amongst yourselves ooh ooh that's metallic that's that's like a greeny blue is this a multi-chrome do beauty bear do multi-chrome eyeliners oh it's, it's not a multi-chrome but Oh, that's pretty. It's like a metallic blue-green. Oh, that is nice. Okay, yeah. Okay, Beauty Bear. I see ya. I see ya, Beauty Bear. You're giving us a, a crappy yellow pastel, but oh, you're killing it on the peacock. Um, It doesn't look like peacock. It looks like it's peacock coloured, that, to me. That's that's the colour of a peacock's body. Um, I'm going to see if these do actually say colours on them. Um, let's see. Let's see. Give me a s <laughs> This actually is called Peacock. <laughs> Lovely. I don't know if I saw that and it went into my brain without my eyes acknowledging it, or if I just think the same as people who name things at Beauty Bear, in which case, Beauty Bear, come on, give me a job. This is probably a good point to say this video is obviously not sponsored, because I don't have... I don't have enough people watching to be sponsored, but you know, just putting it out there. I bought this with my own money. Um, let's see what colour this says. So this one says, yeah, this one says it's in the shade Ice Lemonade. So yeah, it should have, should have known that was yellow. Uh, brilliant. Okay. So that's two eyeliners. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have got four things left in this box. That makes sense. I can now see the big eyeshadow palette, but I can't see the name of it. So that's quite exciting. I'm really hoping for the neutrals palette, which sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. I won't use three quarters of the neutrals palette, but there are a handful of the shimmer shades that look beautiful. Like purpley beigey tones that would be really nice just for the inner half of the eyelid. Anyway, let's stop waffling. We can start, we can we can actually find out what we've got in the 42 pan eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna save it for last because there are three other things and I've just noticed that this one is as predicted a jade roller. Yay! Now I don't know if jade rollers are actually useful or if they're a con um because they were a fashion weren't they not long back um i never got one um oh. i mean it's quite cute looking that is nice it looks good um and it feels like it might actually be stone so that's different because we got a gouache I'm really sorry, I feel awful that I can never pronounce this. Is it a gusha or a guasha? Gu the little stone ones, you know, these ones. Um, we got one of them in a, um, a glossy box that was clearly just made of plastic. I recycled that shit. Um, let's see what this says. Relax and unwind with the jade facial roller. Helps reduce facial tension, promotes a sense of calm and tranquility. Jade stone is known to represent harmony, balance, and peace. Used for a quick, convenient facial massage. Ideal for using after your favourite skincare products. And it says here to, you know, apply some facial oil and roll it round in a specific way. And then wipe it clean. Now, it says it's made from 100% jade stone and naturally sourced. Um, 
I used to think that these things shouldn't be as cheap as they are because surely jade's quite an expensive thing, but apparently not. Um, okay, so we've got a big one and a little one. Um, it feels quite weighty. Oh, it is nice and mmm. That is really cold and really cool on the skin. You know what? Like, I might not think it actually does anything and I know that there's lymphatic dra lymphatic drainage, I believe it is. It's meant to, if you do it right, you do it in the right direction. It's meant to drain all the puffiness out of your skin. But, I mean, you rub something cold on your skin, it, it does help with puffiness. Um, so I don't know how much of it is science and how much of it is convincing people to part with the hard-earned money. Um, that does feel really nice. I'm just going to sit here for a minute and just jade roll my face. Ah. Okay, you know what? I was ready to shit on this from a great height, but I can sort of understand it, maybe? Uh, I'm not. I'm not upset that I've got one. I will probably use it three or four times and then forget I own it. Because that's who I am as a person. Um, but yeah, Jade Roller. Cute. Three more products. Let's see what the next one is. This is a hydrating eye treatment. It's an eye cream with caffeine and peptides. Uh, we knew we were going to get an eye cream. In a box that has a skincare element, you're always going to get an eye cream. Uh, this one claims that it will banish tired eyes for good. Helps with the appearance of dark circles, leaves your skin refreshed, blah blah blah. It's an eye cream. Um, I'll pull it out and have a look at it. Tiny squeezy tube. Gay. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think... No, it doesn't smell of anything either. It's... Generally inoffensive. It's an eye cream. Next. Product number 10 is... Boof. Nope. Again, for the beauty obsessed. Oh, it's a matte lipstick. Yay. Okay, so like I say, I generally tend to be a liquid lipstick person. But if I am having a stick lipstick, I assume this is a bullet lipstick, I do prefer the matte formula. I'm aware that I'm weird in that because most people are team gloss or... Um, satin is that the other the other lipstick one um but yeah i don't know this one says it's in the shade sauce i can't really see it but it's quite gray so do we think it's a gray lipstick that'd be interesting be different um again whoop, beauty bay's white packaging i do really like the beauty bay oh there we go I do really like the Beauty of It packaging, it's really cute, um, but that's looking like the shade. That is sauce. It's like a hot sauce red. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So it's like a brown red colour. That's nice. I don't know if that will be too dark for me, but I've never met a lipstick colour I won't try. Oh, wow. Oh, that is red. That does not look like, like, oh. Oh, we're gonna enjoy trying this on. Oh, that is, I like that. Is that what you call a blue toned red? I'm never entirely certain on the red tones, like what a blue toned or a yellow toned or a red toned red, whatever colors the red tones are. Um, but yeah, okay. Oh, we're gonna try, that's gonna be fun. We're on to the last thing in the box, and that is the 42 colour eyeshadow um, palette. Now, I have just spoilt it for myself because I've just seen which one this is. Um, I'm still excited because this is still a good one. So, this is the Beauty Bay 42 colour earthy palette. So, I again have the 16 shade version of this. So I've doubled my amount of colours that I've got. Um, again, Beauty Bay's nice black and white packaging. This is a beautiful palette. This I'm, I'm quite, quite happy that I've got the upgrade to. Again, the little 16 pan version I've got won't be um, unused because it will go to my partner's house in my drawer there. 
but this is the earthy palette and this is all beautiful greens and golds and browns so the 16 pan version mainly is just the green shades you don't get the brown section down here which is why i originally did get the 16 pan version because again i don't really use the neutral colors that much um but it did mean i lost access to all these beautiful golds i'm happy to have this this is nice and there's a few extra green shades in this version that i don't have in the 16 pan like a lot of these paler greens aren't there and i don't think this black with green shimmers is there either um so yeah i am not mad at owning this um so yeah look look at all them oh it's a grunge sort of fantasy isn't it the full green brown earth palette so yeah that's that's gorgeous and oh, there are so many shimmers in this palette i love beauty base shimmer formula they um particularly the more foiled formula so this one here this lime green one i already know from the 16 pan it's beautiful it just it goes on oh, and it stays all day like their their formula is amazing like i say i'm a hell of a beauty bay eyeshadow palette stan um <laughs> do we still use the stan somebody was talk. i was talking to a uh a zoomer <laughs> yesterday who was like uh, base is now the word you meant to use so this palette is base means it's really good maybe I'm just gonna use the word this palette is really good <laughs> yeah 42 earthly palette let's oh, shall I swatch some go on I'll swatch some so I'm gonna swatch this one I already know I love this one Look how beautiful. Look at the shine on that. Uh, let's do something I haven't got. So I've never never seen this colour down here. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, if that was a multi-chrome. It's not, it's just a shimmer. But oh, that's really nice. Uh, let's swatch a matte that I've never seen before. Um, oh, I've never used this one, so let's do this. Ah, oh, look at that. Look, look how pretty. Oh, that's like a sage. Oh, good. Oh, good God. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do this sort of... Ooh, that's very similar to the gingerbread brown we got in the Disney palette. Uh, let's do a... I'll tell you what, let's let's do a neutral. Um, just trying to wipe off my hands, so I'm not going to... Uh, not going to... Uh, contaminate the colour. Let's do this one. I'm doing this with my little finger, so it might not be as good a swatch, but... Ooh. Ooh, that is... Um, that's a colour. That's a bit baby puke for me, but... If you like your neutrals, again, look look at the formula. Like, those are just finger swatches, and we all know finger swatches aren't the greatest, but, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're happy. We're happy. We have upgraded. Right, so I'm going to do a try-on. Um, I'm not entirely certain what to use, so I'm not going to use the Earthly palette because I've used that a million times, and same as the Berries palette. So I'll probably use the little Disney palette. Um, there's no shimmers in here though. Okay, I'm going to use this for the basic colours. I'll probably dip into... Ooh, I'm probably going to end up using these, the purple and the blue. So I think I'll probably end up dipping into the Earthly palette for some shimmers because I could get a nice gold tone. Or well, the green would look really nice. Okay, definitely using this. Probably going to use the Earthly. I will use... I'll use both of these. I'll see what they look like combined. And we got to try the bright red lipstick. we got to try it. we got to do it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can actually use. Um, the lip brush, much as I'd like to try it out, if I'm using a bullet lipstick, it's, it's irrelevant. Um... 
and the skincare and obviously the hair mask I, I can't I, I can't actually use um yeah okay right let me go grab my mirror and some eye makeup brushes I will be right back Okay, so the glasses are off and I am slightly closer to the camera. So let's do some eye makeup. Now I've, like I said, I've already done my base makeup and because we didn't get any blusher or highlighter in the box, I've just gone and bobbed a little bit on, which doesn't seem to actually be appearing on camera. So that's fine. Now we will just do my uh, eyes and lip, basically. So I've got myself a couple of brushes and my trusty meow mirror. Let's go. So I'm going to... Right, what shall we do? So I think, let's say I want to use the blue and the purple. So I'll probably do them into the crease and then do something else from the earthy palette on the actual lid. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go in with the blue, which is um, Bambi Ice first. That's this one. Um, and let's see how that applies. So I'm going to do that all up the top of the crease just first. Oh yeah, that applies like a beauty bit of shadow. Now, the Disney palettes are... A little bit of a strange beast for me. So let's say I own two of them. Um, I own the Cheshire Cat and uh, Jungle Book palettes. Uh, it's Baloo and Bagheera. And they are nice. They're good. I mean, look, you can already see the, the colour payoffs there. I don't think they're quite the same formula as the other Beauty Bay palettes. Or they hadn't quite cracked the formula when they first started doing these. I'm just actually going to use some of the Bambi Snow blue colour just to blend that out a bit at the top as well. Um, oh, see, now that actually seems brighter. Did that the wrong way around. Um, yeah, so I, I... The formulas are good and I like them. They are still nice shadows, but they aren't actually a patch on the other ones, so I can sort of see why they didn't sell so well. Um, so I predicted that we would get one of these in the box because last time that Beauty Bay did these mystery boxes, I know um, a lot of people did say that they got uh, a good amount of the Disney range in there, um, which a lot of people were a bit peeved about because they bought the Disney ranges. Um, and had the same sort of opinion as me, that they were fine, they're still good eyeshadows, but they're just not quite the quality that we knew Beauty Bay for. Which also brings me on to my next point about Beauty Bay. When you see their stuff online, like particularly on like Instagram, um, there's always... Oh, I'm uh, just going in with this shade... Uh, Thumper Fur? No, Bambi Fur. No, Thumper Fur. Must be Thumper Fur, because it's purple. <laughs> that makes sense, Thumper's the rabbit which is this purple here. I'm just going to put that into the crease. Um, yeah, now you see when you um, when you see Beauty Bay on Instagram particularly, there's always a load of comments under any post complaining about Beauty Bay's um, unreliability. Now, I have never personally had an issue. Like, for example, this mystery box I got... Uh, <laughs> I got an advert for it on Facebook um, Friday night. I decided that I had a bit of spare cash this month and could afford to treat myself. So I ordered it then and there, Friday... Oh, Friday afternoon, sorry. Friday afternoon. Um, and this was with me within 24 hours. Uh, they do still use Avery for shipping, which really annoys me because... Every is Hermes by another name, if you weren't aware. They're still not great. There's still a lot of complaints about them. Um, I think my local every driver is actually pretty good. He's um, he's fine and learnt my, where my safe place is and does reliably enough put things there if I'm out. And he does tend to turn up when he says he's going to turn up. 
but I have had a lot of parcels go missing with them, so I'm always a bit dubious. Uh, it's the one feeling I do think eBay has, and I do wonder if that is also another reason why people have problems with them. Well, that looks really nice. See, that blend's gorgeous. It's not too dark on um, this camera, unfortunately. Uh, I wonder if changing my lights would help. Yeah. Uh, you see that on natural light. Anyway, uh, it looks a bit brighter in person than it actually does on camera. Um, yeah, I do wonder if, because they use Every as their, their shipping handler, that that is one of the reasons people do have problems with them. Um, like I say, I've never had an issue. I've always got everything I've ordered from them within a couple of days, and they are the place I tend to go for things now, because they're not just their own brand. They sell a lot of other brands, quite a lot of the high-end brands as well, which is nice and surprised me when I first started shopping with them. Um, but yeah, it's... I think if you're in the UK, it's pretty good. If you're in America, it's a bit hit and miss. Um, so that's my only... My only slight gripe with Beauty Bay is that, yeah, they're probably not a company that a lot of people are going to trust. Um, so I'm just looking at this, seeing if there's anything else I want to use in here. I don't believe there is. I think those three colours are it for the time being. So I'm going to go into the Earthly palette. Oh, Now, what out of here is going to go with this look? So we've got quite icy look. If this was the Midnight palette, so the Midnight palette is all blues and purples. I already own the 42 shade Midnight palette, so I'm really glad it isn't. Um, but it is one of my absolute favourite palettes of all time ever. Let's see, I think, I think I might use this one. This is Ray, and it's a bit of a, it's gold, but it's got a bit of a green sort of reflux to it. There's definitely some glitter in there. I don't mind glitter in my eye makeup too much. Um, let's see, let's try that. Now this has got a big mirror on the top, so I'm going to put down my mirror and just use that for now. Um, what did I say I was using? Ray. Let's have a go with this. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, you see that shine? Oh, it's beauty. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And it does just work so nicely with these other eyeshadows as well. So... I mix and match between my Beauty Bear palettes all the time and I've got uh, I've got three of their big ones, four of their big ones now, two little ones, two mini ones, two more um, Disney ones, that's four, that's eight, three more Disney ones, nine, and I've got two of their special edition 20 pan one, 24 pans, 25 pans. I've got like 11 Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes, so um, yeah, you could say I uh, I recommend them, definitely. Yeah, see, look, look at that sparkle. Wonderful, cute, love it. Uh, let's do the bottom of my eyes. Uh, ooh. Do we go nuts and do we just do a random shade of green on the bottom? I really want to use this Whistle shade, which is a really bright limey green so yeah you know what i ain't got anywhere to be today i might as well do some weird face makeup not that that stops me anyway uh this whole wearable makeup thing that people go on about wear whatever you want to wear it doesn't matter um if people judge you for the colors you have on your eyes then they're not people worth knowing anyway of course if you like neutrals go for neutrals i'm not saying you shouldn't wear neutrals but if you want to wear bright green under the bottom of your eyes. Just do it. That's nice. That's cute. I like that. Let's do the other side. Like I say, I'm putting this on to go nowhere. Yeah. Does everyone do this first when they put an eyeshadow? <laughs> or is that just me? Like I say, it doesn't show great in the camera. Um, 
it's nicer in, in person. I'm just going to bob a bit of this carver shade just into the inner corner as well. Because um, your girl loves an inner corner highlight. Uh, oop. Yeah, cute. It's pastel -y. <laughs> uh, Because we use the Disney palette as the, the main colour, it is quite a pastel look. Um, which means that these might not be that bad. So the yellow one, is this the yellow one? No, it's the peacock one, this is the blue one. I'm still going to use this. Um, but let's try the ice lemonade one into the corner first. See if it shows up. Because this is always my worry with yellow eyeliners. Especially in the waterline. Like, they're not usually the brightest sparks, are they? Um, I don't know if that shows up on camera at all. Uh, it ain't showing up great. Oh god, that hurts. It ain't showing up wonderfully in person. Um, that might be because I used the green and it's just got nothing to contrast against. Mm, I can sort of see it. Um, I do wonder if maybe if I'd used a different colour on the the bottom lashes if that would show up better. But like I say, I wasn't excited about getting a yellow pencil anyway, so... I don't know, jury's out. Like you can see it quite well in this waterline. Um less so less so in this eye, and I don't know why that would be. Um let's use the peacock one. Um the peacock one was a bit of a bugger to wash off my hand, so I'm very hopeful that this would be good in the waterline. Oh yeah, yeah, that's going on nicely. Let's just really work that in there. Again, doesn't show up great on camera, but in person, that's really nice. Um, I film on my phone. It's never gonna, it's never gonna show up the best anywhere. Uh, so you know, hit like and subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think might be interested in Beauty Bear mystery boxes, so that I can uh, get enough people to buy an actual camera. <laughs> never gonna happen uh yeah okay that is in the waterline that's cute in the waterline actually i like that hmm might do more of that um because i've put that quite dark color into the waterline it is starting to wash out the actual lids so i'm gonna go back in with yet another color in the earthly palette i want something a little bit darker just on the outside corner um, let's do, let's do frost up here, um, which is quite a, it's more of a satin shade, so it's not a shimmer as such, it's a, a satin, which I go back and forth on if I like satin, um, eyeshadows, they're fine. Again, with beauty, it's not just a Beauty Bear thing that I like the formula that Beauty Bear have, but I've never found a satin that's really been mind blowing in any brand of, um, of eyeshadow, honestly. It's not a, uh, a formula I really understand the point of. You might as well just make a shimmer. Hmm. Okay. Let's darkened up the outside corner a little bit. I don't think we're quite there yet. Um, let's just bob a bit of this ivy shade. I know it's completely not in with the rest of the eye, but might just be enough. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That's what I wanted. And on top of the shimmer, it does. It does give it a nice sort of colour tone. Oh God, I've done. Ah, fuck that one up. Gone too far out with that. Um, I'll clean that up later. Uh, yeah. Yay! 
yeah, that one one thing I do like about these eyeshadow pal um these eyeshadows is putting the mattes over the shimmers, you do get a little bit of a a shimmer blend to it, and that looks really pretty. Pretty. <laughs> looks really pretty. Um Okay, so that is my eye look. A little bit of a pastel top with a grungy sort of lid and lower. I'm just gonna pop some mascara on. This is just the mascara I got from Glossy Box a few months ago. The um, the Great Lengths Butan but IQ Butanic. I still don't know how you pronounce it. Um, either way, it's become my go-to mascara. Um, so sometimes Glossy Box get it right. Just gonna roll that on. Uh, the only problem is it just transfer really badly uh, to your uh, crease if you have hooded eyes like I do. So this is probably going to get all over my face, but whatever, just gives it that extra little oomph that we needed. Right, that is the eye makeup done. <laughs> Where's the lipstick? Now, between you, me and the internet, this is not gonna look good. It's not gonna work with the eye look. Um, it's not not gonna look good because it's a bright red lipstick. Bright li red lipstick can look amazing, but if you're wearing a bright red lipstick, it's probably one of the few times that I would agree a neutral eye is the way to go. Um, but we shall see. Tell you what I am gonna do. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so that I can actually see because we all know that bright red lipstick is actually a little bit of a bugger to get right. It's very, very easy to mess up a bright red lipstick. Which might mean we might use the lip brush actually. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Oh, that is bright. Oh, that is bright. I'm always a little bit dubious about doing my actual lip shape in bright red. Um, if anything, I tend to underline my lips when I use a red lipstick. Oh, that's pretty. Like, I don't think it works with the eye look at all, but that's a really nice shade. Um, right, let's clean it up. I'm not the best at putting on lipstick from a bullet because I'm so used to having a wand. Um, okay, beautiful. Um, yeah, so it's a nice formula. It went on really nicely, really easily. Um, oh God. I'm terrible at putting on lipstick, um, so that is, it's a janky, it's a janky application, but that is me, not the lipstick that's caused that. Um, this is really nice, it's, um, so it says it's a matte formula, which, yeah, it definitely is matte, I can, um, it looks matte and I can feel it, it's got that sort of dryness that matte lipstick has, which, um, Let's say I don't mind, I prefer a matte lip. Um, probably because I like a shimmery eye look, so a matte lip looks nicer in contrast. In contrast, I'm I'm really not a lip gloss girl. I I just don't wear it. It doesn't do anything for me at all. I, th I think it just pulls the lipstick off. Um, so I don't mind that. I will be very careful while it dries down because red lipstick, um, yeah, this is... It's it's gonna smudge, isn't it? Because that's what red lipstick does. It's really annoying me that I can never get this line under my lips right. And I think it's because I've done too much here, but I know that the second I go to swipe that off to fix it, it's gonna go all over my face. So let's laugh together while that happens. Uh. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, you know. Oh no, there we go. Smudged it all off my face. I was going to say that might not actually, uh, it might actually be an easy clean up, but uh, no. No, 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 we smudged that. Okay. Um, oh god, guys, I'm terrible at this. How, how? How do people put on red lips and have it just work? Oh, I've got green all over my face now because of my fingers. <laughs> all right, you know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Let's sum up the uh, the mystery box. Here is everything that we got today. Um, this is a really pointless way of doing it. Um, so I'm going to put it down before I drop it and break everything. Right, so final quick rundown. Jade roller. Hair mask. Bright red lipstick. Yellow eyeliner. Blue eyeliner. Eye cream. Lip brush. Bambi palette, berries palette, pointless tanning mitt, and earthly green palette. That is 11 products in one Beauty Bay mystery box. Uh, this is the box total. Wow, oh my gosh, that's so high. Slash, oh my god, that is nothing. That wasn't worth the £35. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, I know that the for instance the 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 this this earthly palette when it retails at full price is like £25 in itself. It's quite often on sale for between 15 and 20. Um so that alone is a significant portion of the box. So I do think it is gonna have been worth the £35. Yeah, overall, I am happy with what I got in my mystery box. I am gonna use Probably everything except that tanning mist. Uh, probably everything except the tanning mitt because I don't tan. Um, although, like, this thing is made of sponge, isn't it? I might just use this for washing my face. Who knows? Um, yeah, that is the Beauty Bay £35 mystery box. And this is my face. Ah, uh, excellent. I am going to spend the rest of my day sat watching TV. I might go to Asda just to show everyone my beautiful red lip. Whatever you are doing today, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you come back to my mythos soon. Bye!